Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's a girl Twin D. Thank you so so much for stopping by the camp. Every single one of you guys. If you're new here, welcome to the camp. If you are not new, then you know the drill. Big up on yourself and thank you all for the support. Let's jump into your message and let's see what our divine masculines have to say to us today. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. So, wow. <laughs> Let's see what our divine masculines are thinking or feeling about us. And then we'll get the messages that they have for us. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I love that. If you're new here, guys, you'll get to know Twin D. And I do say my prayer 111 at the beginning of every single message. So that I know that I'm protected and covered. And your messages are coming from the right place. All right. So let's see what's going on for you, divine masculines how are you thinking or feeling about your divine feminines right now okay father god what's going on with our masculines new opportunities you see that your divine masculines are thinking of new opportunities and they are starting with you you are what's on their mind you're all that they're thinking about all they feel is love for you and of course, they want to start something new with you guys. What else can you tell us, please? Centered and balanced. Okay. No wonder. No wonder. Your divine masculines are, should I say, almost at their emperor energy. Or they're at, at that emperor energy. Everything is now balanced. They're centered. They can think straight. They're making right decisions. Yeah, because the ones they used to make before wasn't right, you know. And now they're making right decisions. The best decisions, that's for them. The best decision, that's going to be for their heart. Decisions in regards to love and not fear. Should I say out of love and not out of fear. So there's a whole heap of changes happening with your divine masculines. Balanced partnership. Oh, I tell you, if balance, 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 balance. <laughs> Everything is balance. Everything is balance. And these divine masculines that we have here right now, they they are into the traditional relationship. They are into loving someone, taking care of someone, the person that they truly love. These are these are masculines. And remember, masculines can also be feminines. So they are the it can also be women. So they are the same way. Taking care of someone. Caring for someone. Showing their love. You know. Oh, that little. Honey, I brought you some chocolate. Okay, honey. I love me some chocolate. But just make sure it's not dark chocolate. <laughs> Bringing you that beautiful little flowers. Not these ones. These ones are fake. But they're still beautiful. And, 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 and I, I, I love fake flowers <laughs> let's see what else your masculines i think hey okay shot listen the thing for okay just a second please thank you very much okay i got it I said zero four zero four that's enough exercise for the day i intellectual matters so your divine masculines they're doing more thinking now logical thinking balancing their energy centering themselves thinking about what they want what they need and making those good decisions making those plans so now they're focused on what's real what's not lasting love and happiness yeah that's what they're focused on and they're thinking of these new opportunities what they want what they're moving towards what else can you tell us please what else can you tell us look at that Look at this. Tradition, didn't I say it? Traditional relationship. 
traditional relationship. Some of us guys, we really need to get some rest. Our divine masculines are getting some rest as well because of all the stress that they've been going under. And that's causing them to think straight. And you have craftsmanship. So your divine masculines, they may be um they may be getting jobs, new jobs, changing their careers, moving away from um whatever it is they were hanging on to. Because they thought that's where I needed to be or my parents said I need to do this or I'm here because I can get that. But now things are changing. New opportunities. Intuitive understanding. So your divine masculine, their spiritual sense is also awakening. They're, it's heightening. They're following their intuition more. They have a more understanding of that balance. It's that ba Where is it? It's that balance. Balance in their mind and their heart. It's that balance that they're achieving. And loss issues. So maybe that's why some of them are even changing jobs. Because they could have lost their job. Or they could be having financial issues. And they're changing their jobs. Unfounded fears. That's it. They're working on these fears that they never knew that they had. And it's all because they're being balanced. It's all because they're thinking straight. It's all because they are now awakened and, it, and they are being more intellectual. Thinking straight, logical, good decisions. And all they're thinking about is the new opportunities and a love that will last and their happiness. Let's see what messages they have for you in regards to how they're thinking and feeling about us. All right, Divine Masculines, what messages do you have for your Divine Feminines? Love is perfect even when we are not. And they're they are realizing this because now they're awakened. So this is like the little apology. I'm not perfect, DF. I've made mistakes. And I want you to forgive me. Oh, I didn't show you the picture. What else do you want to say? So there is definitely a focus on love. There is definitely a focus on, on um, taking off that mask and revealing their true self. The strongest emotion is often expressed in silence. So your divine masculines want to let you know, divine feminine, that it, it, it's like the, the reason they were silent. It's not because they didn't love you or because they didn't know how to express themselves. But it was because they had no idea. No idea how to express love. It's not about them. It's about the emotion, love. They don't know how to express love. And and as you can see in some other messages, it's like they would rather stay away from you than mess things up by saying things they don't mean or saying things that, you know, things that, that they're just scared and then they say foolishness and then in turn hurt you and prevent themselves from being seen in the light that they want to be seen in. Their strongest emotion is expressed in silence. They could show you anger. They could show you when they're jealous. But to show you how they love you, it, it's hard. It's hard. You know, one more here, Divine Masculines. One more message for your Divine Feminines, please. Right, we got two. Love is like a storm. It is fresh and cleansing. It is natural and essential. It is powerful and fulfilling. And nothing can get in its way. So now that they're awakened, you see what they're saying? It is because of love. That's why they got through that storm. That's why they overcame their, their difficulties. That's what helps them to make the sacrifices that they needed to make. Love. The love from the soul is holy without condemnation. It sees imperfection, but because of what it sees, more love flows. So your divine masculine have seen the true you. 
the way you love them, the way you care for them, the way you support them. They realize that your actions, your chasing action, you, the, little, the little overwhelming, overbearing, you know, little action, those ones that we don't want to mention, I don't want to mention them too, but they're there. Yeah, they realize it was out of love. It was out of love. Hmm. It sees imperfection. They are seeing your imperfections. And because of those imperfections, they love you even more. In true love, you want what is best for the other person. In romantic love, you only want the other person. And this is discovery. This is what they are discovering. Intellectual matters. They are becoming smarter. So the people around me who always pretend they love me. They just love me because of what they want or what I could give them. Romantic love is just because of what I can give. Because romance is something you give. But true love. They see through the divine feminine. Even when I pushed this person away, they said, okay. I wish you luck. Take care of yourself. I still love you. It's true love. Love is unexpected. You don't know when it will come. And they sure did not. <laughs> if each time I thought of you were a flower, I could walk in my garden forever. And this has been coming out a lot. It has been coming out a lot. So your divine masculines are definitely thinking about you a lot. All right. What do you have to say, please, in regards to this message? What advice do you have for us or what is going on in regards to this message from our masculines? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, like I said, your divine masculines, they're getting over these things. They're seeing people for who they are. Those who just hang on because, oh, this is what I can receive. But they're seeing the truth. And we, we saw a soulmate in the beginning, right? Yes, this is your soulmate. Your divine masculines are seeing the truth. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. New opportunities. Intellectual matters. Finding that balance. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. So your divine masculines, they will be taking action. And this is because they're awakened. Whoever these masculines are, they are awakened because they have now accomplished what they needed to accomplish and they have found that balance on the inside. This has been your message, everyone. And I do hope that it helps you all. Take care of yourself. Lick one, lick God. And I'll see you at your next message later.